<laughs> but um, I'm somewhere in the communications area. So. Okay. I'm doing business management with a minor in international business. Um, I'm majoring in sociology now, but I'm still on the pre-med track. I just haven't chosen between the two yet. <laughs> Yeah, I'm majoring in biology on the pre-dent track. English and psychology. Neurobiological sciences. I'm double majoring in linguistics and neurobiological sciences. Majoring in telecom with a minor in business leadership and communication studies. Uh, I'm on the medical track. Um, I'm biology pre-med track, um, chemistry minor, psychology minor, and a history minor. <laughs> Uh, chemical engineering. <clears throat> um, English and philosophy today. <laughs> uh, education. Um, I'm doing computer engineering and uh, business. And I'm doing health science and I'm on the pre med track. I mean, there's like the biggest thing to remember is that there's so many students that are at these universities that are competing with you and they're going to be your competitors throughout life. And they did IB, they did AP, they did honor school enrollment. So you have to set yourself apart from when you, like that first day in class, the first day of college, set yourself apart, join activities, join different things, and let your professors know who you are. That's definitely so beneficial. It opens up so many doors. Professors know about different opportunities that they recommend you for. They write different recommendation letters. So it's definitely helpful. Yeah, definitely look at the beginning of the next like four years as a clean slate. Like maybe you weren't the most studious person in high school or you sometimes, you know, skip class or whatever. Definitely, it's a fresh start. You can go in. The professors don't know how many days you missed in high school, and they don't know your AP score. So if you go in and say, like, I'm excited about this class, I really want to learn, you know, set a precedent for yourself. If you want to make changes in your, you know, study habits, then it's a good time to do it. And if you kind of keep the same pattern that you had in high school, it's going to be harder, you know, the longer you go without, you know, making the changes that you need to. So definitely. Yeah. Like, in, in college, you don't, I, I, I'll have to kind of admit, we were kind of spoiled in IB. Um, I, I think the teachers definitely kind of wrote our butts if we didn't do something. They were on us, like, why didn't you do this? You know, turn it in. Yeah. Um, which was, we probably all thought it was kind of annoying sometimes, I don't know. Um, but it's honestly really nice because then you get to college and for the most part, because your classes tend to be a lot bigger, the professors don't seem to, it's not that they don't care as much, but they're not going to ride you to turn in an assignment. They're not going to be like, oh, you didn't do it. It's just too bad. You don't, you don't get the points. And so it's a lot more like, um, uh, what is the word I'm thinking of? Like, yeah, like independence, I guess. You, you just, you have to force yourself. Like, there's nobody else to push you. You have to do it. You have to be the one to just study. Like, that's the thing. It's a lot of times you don't have all this busy work, but you just have to study. Mm -hmm. um, and even if you don't have an exam for like two weeks, it doesn't matter. Like you have to force yourself to sit down and study, which is I know something I wasn't used to doing. I was used to just like the night before the exam cramming. Yeah, uh, you definitely you can't, can't do that. Definitely can't put it off. I mean, in some of your classes, you have three tests, and that's it. That's your entire grade. Yeah. So if you try to study just the night before, it doesn't work. No. You need to study. I mean, if the te if the professor is telling you lecturing. Go home, read it before he, you even get to the lecture so you know what he's talking about, and then even reread it so you can understand like what the book is saying and what he said in that class. And there's no like when you're trying to turn in papers, oh my paper, you know, my printer ran out of ink or I didn't have enough paper. There's no excuses. Like you either turn it in or you just don't get the grade, like plain and simple.